Okay, this is now the five minute tarot for the 21st of August 2017. And this probably is going to be five minutes because uh, somebody sent me a quote by a French writer called Jean Giono. And uh, I wanted to read it to you. I need to bring it on screen because I can't remember word for word what it says. Okay, so th th I think this is one way you can learn what tarot cards mean or what, they, what they're about or how you can develop a bigger and ideally a better understanding of, of what's involved with different cards or with particular cards. And you can find hints and you can find um, ideas in all sorts of different places. So this happens to be a quote from Jean Giono. And he said, or he wrote once, days begin and end in the dead of night. They are not shaped long in the manner of things which lead to ends. Arrow, road, man's life on earth. They are shaped round in the manner of things eternal and stable. Sun, world, God. Okay, so that, that was my starting point because it kind of, I mean, just the idea that days begin and end in the dead of night. That's, that's something else that I would maybe discuss later. But he says they are not shaped long in the manner of things which lead to ends. Arrow. And I couldn't help but think of the eight of batons, which can show arrows reaching their goal. And the suit of batons anyway is like a, is, is, um, it's shaped long. So is a sword as well, maybe. So maybe with, with batons and swords, especially with batons, because there's no handle on it, um, it's it's about leading to ends. So maybe what you do if the suit of batons comes up, you make sure the questioner knows what the end is, is or wh what the end is supposed to be. If, if they know what direction they want to go in, they're going to do better with the answer to the question, let's say. But it can be, and maybe batons reversed can mean you don't know that the questioner doesn't know where he or she is going or they haven't thought about what they want to achieve or what kind of result they want, what they want to get out of the experience. And so if you can encourage them to figure out what end they want to arrive at or give them various suggestions on what a logical or pos possible outcome could be, then you can undo what's shown by a reverse baton. And you can also give them um, a better understanding of where to go and what to do. But I also mentioned about roads. And if you think about the moon card, there's an end of that we can see the road leads somewhere. And it leads between the two towers, but there's an end as well. And there's one in the temperance card where you've got the road on the the angel's right-hand side leading off into the distance as well. So just the idea that things that are long, are shaped long, are in the manner of th that things that lead to ends. So with those cards, what's the end? Whereas um, days are shaped round in the man... I'm just thinking around, a day is round... You know what I mean? It's got a beginning, a middle and an end. It's got, but it's a continuation. When you get to midnight, suddenly it's a new day. So it's round in that way. But it's just a point that he says, things are eternal. I can understand eternal because of a circle. No beginning and no end. But he says they're stable. And I think that's an interesting point to make about a circle being stable. Which may not have occurred to you before. So we've got the sun and the world and God. So with the sun card is has got the sun in it. There's a, a circle in the moon card as well, but there's one with the world itself, even though it's a it's um I know uh, an ellipse, but it's still the world you think of the world and it's round. But the fact that it's stable. So with the sun card, you're dealing with a st it, the situation is stable. It's not going to change. It's not going to suddenly fall apart. Um, it's dependable. So a person represented by the sun card would be stable and dependable and reliable. And the same maybe with the, the moon card um, uh, because of what's above or between the towers and also with the world card. And anywhere that you find a circle, 
you're dealing with stability, which I thought was interesting. Um, I'm adding this a few hours later because I forgot to mention with the original recording that I added an article about the Queen of Cups at thetarotcourse.com in the Contents What's New page. You'll find today, the 20th of August. And it, somebody left a comment about the Queen of Cups and her her interpretation is kind of different from what you might find in the books. And she wanted to know whether to go with it and explain it and express it as a questioner or whether she should hold back. So there's various bits and pieces about what to do when you have a personal take on a card. Do you keep quiet or do you incorporate it into the answer? That was it. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye-bye.